Woman finds dog covered in odd marks. Rushes to vet for answers. When a woman arrived home, she was shocked to see her dog covered in what looked like bug bites. Then she got closer and knew she needed to go to the vet. There she was told what the odd marks really were and she was horrified. Hayden Howard of Seymour, Indiana is the proud owner of an adorable 100-pound English Mastiff puppy named Jackson. She loves her big pup, but one day she realized something wasn't quite right with her furry friend. While running her hands through his thick fur, she felt something that just wasn't right. Under all that hair, she felt odd marks and what she thought were bumps on the animal's skin. Initially, Hayden believed these strange marks on Jackson's body were likely bug bites. When she looked closer, however, she knew it was something much worse. Hayden was horrified to discover that Jackson didn't have raised bumps, but instead he actually had holes in his skin, and a lot of them. Perplexed, she took her beloved pet to the veterinarian, but nothing could prepare her for what would be discovered. Hayden was stunned to find out that it wasn't bug bites at all, and there was a much bigger problem at hand. There were indeed holes in Jackson's flesh, and the cause was downright sickening. Jackson had been shot, repeatedly. As the vets got to work, shaving the dog in order to get to the wounds, 20 pellets and 7 BBs were removed from Jackson's body. In addition, the staff estimated that there were at least another 20 pellets and BBs lodged in his body that they couldn't remove. But it gets worse. The vet also estimated that another 20 projectiles had struck the dog and bounced off. That means Jackson was shot over 60 times. I was in shock. I didn't even know what to think, Hayden recalled, according to Wave 3 News. Hayden wasn't the only one stunned by the senseless act of violence against the animal. Police were called and they were shocked to see what had been done to Jackson as well. I've never seen an animal shot that many times. It's a very bad case and it's a sad thing to see, Seymour Police Department Assistant Chief Craig Hayes said. This wouldn't be the only stunning discovery they'd make while investigating the case, however. While at Hayden's house, officers found BB stuck in a tree and followed the direction of fire. This led them to obtain a search warrant for the house next door, belonging to 44-year-old Tim Woodward. In addition to a BB gun and pellets, the police found methamphetamine and drug paraphernalia at Woodward's home, Daily Mail reported. Tim Woodward was arrested on drug charges as police awaited test results to confirm that the gun and pellets matched those that caused Jackson's injuries in order to Woman build their case of dog covered in them. odd marks. Police Rushes believe that may answers. have been under the influence of drugs when he decided to use Jackson. When a woman targets. arrived home, she was shocked to see her dog Jackson, covered in what looked he was like expected bugs. to make a full recovery. Then she got closer the story and knew could she have been a much more tragic ending. It's already there, bad she was enough, told what the no odd mistake, marks Jackson really were, and she was dog. horrified. Although BB Hayden and Howard of are Seymour, Indiana, is the proud owner of an adorable 100-pound English Mastiff puppy that can cause real damage. She loves her big While pup, BB and pellet guns but one day she realized something wasn't quite or right other large animals. animals they most have While running her hands be. through his thick fur, the she US felt Consumer something that product just wasn't right. Mission has Under all that about hair, she felt odd marks year caused by BB guns or bumps pellets rifles. on the animal's skin. According to CPS, Initially, she said he'll leave these strange marks on the Jackson's risk of body death were likely bug bites. If you're hitting the eye, she looked closer, head. however, she knew it was something much worse. This gun was pointed at an animal horrified and fired that Jackson did not have raised bumps, putting Jackson's life at risk. But instead, he actually had holes in his When skin. a crime is committed with and a lot of gun, it should be considered exactly Perplex, what it she is. Took her beloved it's a real to the gun. veterinarian and criminals but who use it against the innocent for what would be to be charged as such. Hayden was stunned to find out that it wasn't bug bites at all, and there was a much bigger problem at hand. There were indeed holes in Jackson's flesh, and the cause was downright sickening. Jackson had been shot repeatedly. As the vets got to work, shaving the dog in order to get to the wounds, 20 pellets and 7 BBs were removed from Jackson's body. In addition, the staff estimated that there were at least another 20 pellets and BBs lodged in his body that they couldn't remove. But it gets worse. The vet also estimated that another 20 projectiles had struck the dog and bounced off. That means Jackson was shot over 60 times. I was in shock. I didn't even know what to think, Hayden recalled. According to Wave 3 News, Hayden wasn't the only one stunned by the senseless act of violence against the animal. Police were called and they were shocked to see what had been done to Jackson as well. I've never seen an animal shot that many times. It's a very bad case and it's a sad thing to see, 
Seymour Police Department Assistant Chief Craig Hayes said. This wouldn't be the only stunning discovery they'd make while investigating the case, however. While at Hayden's house, officers found B.B. stuck in a tree and followed the direction of fire. This led them to obtain a search warrant for the house next door, belonging to 44-year-old Tim Woodward. In addition to a BB gun and pellets, the police found methamphetamine and drug paraphernalia at Woodward's home, Daily Mail reported. Tim Woodward was arrested on drug charges as police awaited test results to confirm that the gun and pellets matched those that caused Jackson's injuries in order to build their case of animal cruelty against him. Police believe he may have been under the influence of drugs when he decided to use Jackson for target practice. As for Jackson, he was expected to make a full recovery, but this story could have had a much more tragic ending. It's already bad enough, but make no mistake, Jackson is one lucky dog. Although BB and pellet guns are often referred to as toys or fake by some news outlets, these are real guns that can cause real damage. While BB and pellet guns aren't typically lethal against humans or other large animals, they most definitely can be. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission has reports of about four deaths per year caused by BB guns or pellet rifles, according to CPSC Safety Alert. The risk of death is increased if you're hit in the eye or head. This gun was pointed at an animal and fired roughly 60 times, putting Jackson's life at risk. When a crime is committed with a BB or pellet gun, it should be considered exactly what it is. It's a real gun, and criminals who use it against the innocent should be charged as such.